Remember, when you're shopping for a liveaboard, you have to keep in mind that space is critical. Well, that's what we're here to talk to you about today and maybe give you some ideas on ways you can save space. And please, downsize, downsize, downsize before you start moving things onto the boat. Thanks for joining us again today. Um, one of the questions I get asked most frequent, frequently when people um, ask me things about living aboard is uh, where do you keep everything? And as you saw in the beginning of this, actually all that stuff that was out on the table uh, is all things that have been put away and stored on this boat. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I think the biggest thing is uh, we have to get rid of a lot of the stuff that we have uh, that we don't use. So, for example, um, we have you know, probably 20, 30 shirts, depending on your wardrobe. Uh, we probably only wear five or six of those on a regular basis. Uh, same thing with pants and shorts and different shoes and so on. And so, from, uh, for me, it was going through all of those things. And I try to do that every six months anyway. Um, but still, when you really think about it, geez, have I worn this in a year? No doesn't go on the boat. Um, and then uh, I had a gentleman years ago that lived aboard at a marina that I stayed at and um, I asked him, I said, what do you do during the holidays? I said, when you get a gift for Christmas or whatever. And he goes, oh, it's really simple. If I get a shirt for Christmas, then I know that a shirt that's on board has to come off before that one can go on. So it's a matter of which one do I like more. Makes total sense. Um, you know, I have a motorcycle, I've got a guitar and different things that all have to be put away. So when I looked at boats, um, you know, when, when you go to a boat show, for example, uh, it's really easy to get caught up in, oh, this one's really beautiful, and look, it's got this much more space in the cockpit and so on. But as a seasoned cruiser, you learn where is everything going to go? And that's really what you need to be looking for. Um, where can I store uh, my cooking equipment, my pots and pans? Pretty basic stuff, but you need to make sure you have enough space for that. Uh, where can I store my clothing, my shoes? Uh, what knickknacks or um, pieces that, um, that are special to you, uh, where can I put those? And is there some place that I can put them that they'll be safe when we're cruising? So um, it's all those things that you really need to keep in mind. Uh, what I'd like to do is take you on a tour of this boat and just show you some simple things that I've done uh, to make it a little bit easier to access the items that I'm going to use on a regular basis and also to store uh, clothing and, and things of that nature. Um, also, um, I purchased a couple of ottomans uh, that sit under the table right here in front of me uh, and they're perfect to put your feet up on of course but they also the reason I purchased them is because they're also great for storage so I use one of them for water bottles and I use the other one to put some of my motorcycle gear in uh, so that it's always out of the way but the, these items serve a couple of different uses. Uh, number one, like I said, they're easy when you're by yourself, you put your feet up, but they're also, they also make stools, so as you have additional people uh, at the table, you've got a couple of additional chairs, and then of course storage. So um, anyway, uh, let's, let's take a look. Uh, this boat has really good storage uh, in the floor, so we'll take a look at the main compartment here which is absolutely amazing. It has plenty of room for everything I keep in here that I use regularly. So for example, I've got my margarita machine, uh, my Instapot, and then just some kitchen extras, some um, paper plates and things like that that I need on a regular basis, and then also uh, purified water. All right, so this is the mid cabin, which is really famous on Sea Ray Sundancers. Uh, they claim they invented it. I say they did, um, but it's it's just a great um, space. It kind of keeps everything a little bit separate, so you can have people in the uh, main salon, uh, and then 
you can actually have a private conversation over here with somebody else. Uh, but the nice thing about it is that it gives us a ton of extra storage. So underneath these seats here, for example, there is extra storage. Uh, up here in this closet, storage for bedding uh, and also uh, an emergency flare kit. So it gives us that extra space, keeps everything up and out of the way. I've got extra linens over there behind these uh, rolling doors. And then uh, this is an area where I keep my uh, guitar. And then also this in this particular piece here is what keeps, uh, which makes this into uh, a, another stateroom. So it makes this into a bed and gives whoever's here uh, some additional privacy. In here as well, in the mid cabin, is a separate uh, closet, another motorcycle helmet, uh, room for hanging things. Um, it's great when guests come, they can hang a couple of things up, but then it also gives me uh, space to use whenever I need to. And then of course there's um, additional storage space under here, uh, just for, I keep additional air fresheners and, and things like that that I'm gonna use on a regular basis. But tons of room, more room really than I need. Uh, this particular uh, version of the Sundancer, in addition to the storage that's underneath the seti, also has these little storage areas underneath. And again, it's just really, I keep additional paper towel and napkins and things like that down there. What's funny is it's not the stuff you think about when you're at the boat show. It's like, oh, I put my shoes over here. I could put my towels here. Right. But what about all the day-to-day -day things that you use uh, that are really, you know, very necessary? So these are all the things that I looked at when I was looking at liveaboards because a lot of them were absolutely beautiful, but they just didn't have enough space. Now, something I did since I purchased the boat, uh, which I thought would be... Uh, a nice change is uh, over the over the um, refrigerator was a big um, big screen old type of CRT television and it was right up here and I'll show you the pictures here in a second uh, so let's get that big screen out of there and what I did was I took the big screen out I haven't finished the inside yet but you can see that it's got Pl plenty of storage. We're actually going to put another backing board up there with some additional shelving. And we finished this door yesterday and I'm actually getting a, um, a flat screen TV that's going to mount to this. Uh, so it's now still having a TV in the main salon but it's giving me that additional storage space. What I like about it is that it it's, uh, gives me more things that I can put away so I can keep my countertop clear. And, um, and then it just gives me that additional storage for the items that I use every single day. So uh, if you come into the main cabin, main stateroom, uh, again, another reason why I love this boat, it has a king size bed. It's extremely comfortable. Uh, this door closes off for privacy, which is very nice. And it also keeps any additional noise uh, that there may be out in the cockpit area um, away from you. And then in here, there's some wonderful storage space. So here is the main closet right here. <laughs> and uh, it takes care of all the clothes that I wear on a regular basis. And here is just some space I have for tools and things like that, my uh, portable radio for when I go ashore. And then in here, one of the things I learned uh, on a trip to the Bahamas was that um, for the shirts that uh, you wear on a regular basis, uh, it's really easy just to roll them up. And that way, there's less chance that they're going to get wrinkled. You just take them and flip them, and they, um, you can put them on. It's, it's not, not an, an issue. And um, then also, I purchased um, some pants from Columbia uh, that can, um, can be rolled as well. So uh, they look like dress pants. They're very comfortable. And, um, 
it's just a, a nice way to be able to store everything. Plus, everything's up top, so I'm not ha constantly having to bend over and take things out of a storage area. I've got everything in an area where it's very convenient for me to get to. Now this, uh, this boat also has uh, drawers underneath the main bed and another cabinet. It has additional drawers here. Uh, in the in-floor storage here, uh, this is where I keep all the manuals and spare parts for the boat. So this is all stored and out of the way. What I like about this boat is um, it's got the galley on the same level as everything else, which in the Sundancer, of course, that makes sense. But you'll see when you look at other uh, bridge boats is that a lot of times there'll be the galley down so that if you're doing something in the kitchen, in the galley, <laughs> and you're cooking, you, uh, you're kind of away from uh, the guest if you have guests in the salon. Uh, this is nice because you're always part of the conversation. And uh, if you're cooking or preparing something, uh, you're, you're right here with, the, with all the other guests. Um, this um, came with a microwave. I am probably going to uh, replace it with a convection oven, but you figure between a microwave, a convection oven, and uh, an instant pot, and then of course a grill outside, anything I want to cook, I can cook here, and also and just do it very conveniently. Uh, for area for Tupperware and pots and pans, underneath here, very very easy to get to. Uh, all. These drawers are great for um, just utensils, and of course, you won't believe the, the amount of utensils you have that are really necessary. Uh, so even though I went through a bunch of items I already had, uh, I still did have to, um, you know, there still are things you have to keep, whether it's measuring cups or uh, salad tongs and so on. And then uh, this here gives us additional storage for uh, dry goods and uh, tea you know, pasta, things like that, that we have to get to fairly regularly. So that's basically it for this boat. I mean, every boat's going to be different. And, um, but I will tell you that when you look at boats, try not to get too caught up emotionally and try to look at it. If it's going to be a liveaboard or it's going to be something you're going to take long trips on, try to look at it as much as possible uh, with a practical eye because um, you've got to be able to put things away. Uh, for cooking, you've got to have you know flat surfaces so that you can prepare food and cook at the same time. I mean, it's all those things that make sense to you when you're looking at homes. We also have to take that and apply it when we're looking at boats. So um, this is going to be fun. I've got some adventures uh, planned for early next year. I've got a couple of more trips, short trips planned for this year. Uh, We'll make sure to have you along and um, so you can experience it with us. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, please lead an incredible life. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.